Hi, everybody. I am Mary Perry, broadcasting from our mobile studio in Dallas, Fort Worth. I'm David Zen, and we are unscripted. Unscripted. And we're whispering today. And we're, and we're, we're just in low talking voices because there's a lot of people around. <laughs> okay. So, good morning, Dave. Well, in Studio W, we only we just have one guest, a special guest that we'll bring in. This is. Some point. This is a special edition of Unscripted. You're going to want to see and stay through the whole thing, right? Unlike yes. most times. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, Dave, you know, I, I was just down here with Ken, you know, for uh, a week, you know, and we yeah. went um, out on a, uh, well, it wasn't really a date, but maybe it was a date last night, you know? So you had a date last night, huh? Yeah, I had a date last night. It was pretty good. I think tonight I'll try a fig. <laughs> That's good, Mary. Tell you what. What? <laughs> don't try a prune. Because we don't want it to become a regular thing. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I told you. Yes. Oh, that's funny, baby. That, that's funny, funny. But I knew it was a setup. I knew it. <laughs> it's a little inside joke to our audience, but hey. And I just want to say hello to all the fans. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I see the big airplanes. <laughs> Yes, okay. so hello to all our fans in Florida and our fans in uh, South Texas. Yes. All across the country, especially our fans in Brookfield. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and our family. So this Washington. is a quiet week. Nothing's really going on, right? Oh, my gosh. I don't know how much time we're going to have to go through the calendar. It's huge. It's huge. Well, what, what's happening we do this have weekend? Super big news. We have super big news. When can we bring our guest in? That's what everybody's oh. really here for. You think they are? All right. Well, let's bring our guest in. Our guest is yeah. right here in the green room. Oh, this is so exciting. A live guest. Oh, Hello. Great to be with you, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a man who needs no introduction. <laughs> it is. It's extremely special. Well, welcome back to you, Father Joe. That's all we can say is welcome home. Thank you. It's great to be home. Oh my gosh, this is great. So how are you feeling? You ready to be back amongst your people? Great. Yep. Doing great. I'm excited about joining all of you and what God has already been up to among you through the spirit. You have remained the church, faithful, committed. And I look forward to stepping alongside of you and together we'll take up our cross once again. So, so I have a question, you know, in September when we used to go back to school, the first thing they always asked was, what did you do during your summer vacation? Yeah. So my question is, what did you do during your summer <laughs> sabbatical? Great question. That is. Well, I was fortunate to be able to travel like many of us after not being able to travel for a long time. I was able to see extended family members that I hadn't seen in over two years. So I was on the West Coast. I was in the Midwest. I was in the South. I was all over the place. And when I wasn't traveling, reconnecting, I was at home, resting, relaxing, spending time with my immediate family, and attending St. George's Episcopal Church each Sunday under the able leadership of the Reverend Tarshan, where I got to try out what it looks like to be a clergy spouse. Mm. So I've never done that before. In 25 years of ordained ministry, this is a new calling within my larger calling, and I very much enjoy it. And as I think many of you know, among our fan base, we had a Fire and Soul of Father Joe event where the St. George's men were outnumbered five to one by all the St. Paul's guys that showed up. So it was a beautiful testimony and one of the great surprises of my life, to be honest with you. Oh. It just kept coming. It was one after the other, two after the other, with chairs and fun and mm -hmm. fellowship. And we had a great time. And it oh, told me how much I missed my St. Paul's family. What a powerful men's ministry God is doing at our church, among all the other amazing ministries God is bringing about. So we will have another Fire and Soul on September 23rd at St. Paul's for the men of St. Paul's and for the men of St. George's. They're doing all they can to increase their numbers. They want to get close to competing with us, so I'll give them that challenge. That would be great. We'll give them a full tour of our beautiful church, which they've wanted to see. And uh, there's a lot to look forward to. That's just one event of many coming up I'm sure we'll talk about during this time. And so it's not to leave the ladies out. 
we're going to have a fire time for the whole parish. And we're looking at October 2nd, which will be a homecoming event of sorts, where everybody's welcome to gather around a big bonfire. We'll have music and sharing, and it'll be a wonderful time. So the time has yet to be officially determined, but we're looking at October 2nd. So if you want to mark your calendars now, we'd love to have you. How wonderful. And it's just such a great time to be together, right? Just to, as you said, just have some casual conversation and just catch up in general, right? I think what everybody's just, you know, craving that catch up and connection. So absolutely wonderful. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh my gosh, that's great. Excellent. So you mentioned that we have a busy weekend. It is somewhat busy. Is. If you've read sword points, you see the lineup the way I described it. But I can tell you that Friday night, I'll be officiating over the marriage of Michelle O'Hara. You may remember Michelle. She was our fastest athlete. She was wonderful. And we miss her. But yeah. she's now an adult, and she's getting married. And we're thrilled to celebrate that with her and her whole family, the O'Haras, who are very much a part of our community. Absolutely. And this will take place on a beautiful evening. At least it looks that way with the weather. Tomorrow night at Candlewood East, mm. right on the shore. Saturday morning at 11, we will commend our beloved rector, Father George, our rector emeritus, longest serving rector of any of our rectors to the Lord. Reception will follow. Then that evening, we have a 9-11 memorial at Town Hall, which our own parishioner George Blass and his wife Eve and some others in town have put together. So that'll be great. If you can be here, that's at 7 p.m. Yeah. And then on Sunday morning, 8 and 10.30, we have our worship. Sunday school begins. I hope I'm not stealing your thunder, by the way, of announcing all this. <laughs> and then uh, there's actually more. Uh, I had a call this morning that our parishioner, Stu Terrell, went home to be with the Lord early this morning. So we will officiate for his burial right Monday at 11 a.m. Many of you may not know Stu. He was 88 years old. But we have a photo of Stu singing in St. Paul's Brookfield Parish Choir when he was about 14 years old. Oh. So he goes way back. He's been part of our community. He lived right off Route 25. He was good friends with Governor Jody Rell, who, who knows, maybe she and her husband will be at the service. We don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a lot going on. And it really captures the fullness of what it means to be a parish church where we celebrate birth, marriage, and death. All the celebration. If we realize that life is not ended with the Christian, it's simply changed. And actually, you know, Stu Terrell's family was a very integral part of this parish, almost from the get-go. Uh, Stuart's middle name was Fairchild. And if you look on old maps, you see that the house right across the street from St. Paul's is the Fairchild house. And that family sold the property to St. Paul's where we are right now. So they've been go back at least wow. 150 years. Wow. And, and Dave, you know, I'm just reminded, I just love that you're just such a faithful steward of the history that goes on all around us, right? So that's not lost. It just continues on. So it's so important to remember that. What a special time. What a special situation. So good. So we have lots of other things going on. Um, it's it's Bible studies galore all of a sudden at St. Paul's. We have, really, we have you know, Monday night, uh, the men's Bible study meets at yep. 7 o'clock. Tuesday morning at 9.30, the ladies' AM Bible study, they're meeting in person in the guild room and on Zoom. And they're talking, they're going through Zechariah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tuesday night, ladies' Bible study is back in session. And I believe they're studying Luke. Yes. They're going to be doing that all fall. They're on Zoom. And we have our, one day, our Sunday, Saturday morning men's uh, Bible studies. The prayer breakfast meets at St. Paul's, I think, at 8 yep. o'clock. And we have the yep. group meetings up in New Milford at 7.30. Yep. So there's lots of Bible studies. There's lots of ways. And, you know, we just want to just make a huge invitation to every single person out there, like come and be part of anything. Try it. You know, see who's there. See what you like. There's there's something for everybody. So it's such a great invitation for everyone to to participate and come into the community of, of St. Paul. And then uh, one week away, uh, I'll let Father Joe talk about this. September 19th, we're starting what used to be our Rector's Forum. That's starting up under a new name and direction. 
or find it illuminated in scriptures, then that will involve verse by verse with exegetical Bible study. And at the same time, we'll have periodic teachings led by Dan Bacon, sort of topical teachings such as one for Advent, one for Christmas, and into the new year. So we'll have a lot of exciting offerings between services going forward starting on that that is excellent. And and a lot of the things that, like, I know that some of the Bible studies, they're trying to do hybrid, right? So if you're not able uh, to come in person, you can still participate in Zoom, which is a really nice thing. So, you know, we'll be offering something for everybody like that. That's the insightful commentary that I'm adding today. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> really insightful. Oh, That's excellent. And then uh, what else is going on? Our wellness classes, our fitness classes continue on via Zoom. We will be adding an evening class because I just certified in a new type of class, Praise Bar. So I just finished that up and passed so that we will be adding an evening one. So something in the morning, something in the evening and something on the weekends. So again, those are gonna be hybrid also and the schedule will be coming out soon. So speaking of evening, starting up tonight, uh... You thought I was going into a joke, didn't you? I did. I was totally, totally. <laughs> <Gotcha. laughs> there you go. No, uh, wow. Seriously, uh, tonight uh, is music night. Uh, Thursday nights, um, our choir uh, have their practice. I believe they start at 7.30, and that's open yes. to anyone that's interested in music. They go through all the music for the uh, 10.30 service. Uh, they will be processing this week in vestments again. Yep. We're going to see some changes in our worship. That's yep. always something to look forward to. Yep. And I think um, on those music nights, I don't. I think that yes, yeah, open to anybody. It doesn't mean you have to participate in the choir every Sunday. But if you'd like to come and be part of the group, please do that too. Excellent. So, you know, one thing that we've skipped, Mary, what is guessing the sermon title. <gasps> so I think oh. I'm going to, I think I'll let Father Joe guess what the title's going to be. So <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think we should totally let him do that. So, Joe, this that's right. Guess the sermon title. As you know, it's a key feature in this, in this show, right? And we've been all over the map. I mean, a couple of them we were right on, a couple we had no idea. So, you know, we're, we're doing, eh. So what do you think the sermon title is going to be this week? And you've heard it here for first, folks. <laughs> Once an American traveler arrived in Australia, and when the traveler got into the taxi cab, the taxi driver said, did you arrive here to die? And the man said, excuse me? Did I arrive here to die? The cab driver said, yes, did you arrive here to die? Or did you arrive here yesterday? <laughs> now that's a hint in terms of what the sermon might be about. <laughs> Jesus said, if anyone would become my disciple, let themselves get their cross and follow me. Those who <laughs> save their life must lose it. So it might be about what it means to lose one's life to find it. Savior, God's mm. grace. So yes, we will all come to church tonight. Yes, wow. Very nice. This is awesome. A, I, that, I can see a great sermon title there. Uh, you <laughs> you know, I, I was serious. I was going to ask you, usually you have some kind of story in your sermon. I was going to wonder if it was going to be about Winston Churchill, oh. Thomas Edison, or some Civil War soldier. Could be. Could be. Could be. Could be. <laughs> could be oh. See, I think that would be a key thing. What is the feature story also? I'm give you some insight, which I haven't shared with a broad audience before, but the way oh, yes. the Holy Spirit has me prepare for a sermon is I begin looking at the readings long ahead of time. But Thursday and Friday, I spend a lot of time in prayer, study, and research. And then Saturday is where it really comes together. So there's a lot I don't know in terms of what's about to happen in the next couple of days. Mm. God knows, and we pray that God will speak through me. That we will hear God, not me. 
And as James, the epistle reminds us this Sunday, teachers are held to a higher standard. James says, hey, we make many mistakes. I'm glad he said that because yes. we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Yes, teachers especially. We need God's yes. grace, God's forgiveness. And at the same time, we're held to a higher standard. I'm very much aware of that. And so I ask for your prayers. Wow. Oh, you, you have know, our One prayers. thing I noticed, Mary, yes. he doesn't finalize the sermon until after unscripted. Yes. So here we have an opportunity going forward. This is going to be a great season in more ways than one. And Father Joe, I have to tell you, you have totally elevated this version of Unscripted today. It has gone to a whole nother level. I am afraid I'm going to have to uh, head out because if I miss this, I, I might not make it back for the, all the stuff this weekend. So I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, wait, you have a million more jokes. Tell them to Joe. Asking me to tell you a joke? No, I, I'm sure you have many more jokes. I have to leave, so tell them to Joe. Well, I don't really have any. I'm we were oh. counting on you to bring the. Uh, <laughs> There's always next the, week. The humor. There's always next week. We have plenty. So, right, I so I'll give you one quick one before you run off. Okay, one quick one. I did the cowboy buy a dachshund. <laughs> Wait, I have no idea. Why? Someone told him to get along, little doggy. <laughs> On that note, I'm bidding farewell to the great state of Texas. <laughs> Coming back home. Bye, you guys. <laughs> right, everyone have a great week. Bye. We'll see Thank you, Joe. Someday. Thank you, Joe. Safe travels. I forgot the joke. All right, I got it. So the panic starts. So the panic starts right here, right now. Did you read your sword points yet? No, I'm a little behind. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> well, I saw the cover. You had to, cover. okay. Was, um, yeah, no, the right. cover was amazing. I did read it, actually, and I saw that you had done that cover with, uh, wait, Billy Martin. Billy Martin, good job. How are you talking so quietly? Well, because I'm in the middle of a gate. Can you hear me at all? <laughs> all right. <laughs> so do you want to get started? Yes. So we'll do. Uh, well, let's just let's just do it unscripted. <laughs> I think I, there's just no reason to start now doing anything differently. Okay, you ready?